Hello everyone and welcome to the end of Pwn to Own Vancouver 2023. I am Dustin Childs, Head of Threat Intelligence here at the Zero Day Initiative. And with me is Brian Gorns, who is Vice President of Threat Research at Trend Micro. Brian, how are we doing today? I'm doing great. We have made it after three amazing days. We are at the end. What did you think of the contest? Uh, it was really exciting. A lot of really successful entries this time. The, you know, having the Tesla Model 3 go down and having some of our old friends back was a lot of fun. Yeah, that's, really, that's a good point. We started off the contest with a very familiar face, Abdulaziz Hariri, who has been to many phone to owns as a member of our team. <laughs> yes. This is his first time participating as a contestant. Very different experience for him, but he showed what a great researcher he is. Adobe Reader on Mac OS, $50,000 right out of the gate. <laughs> <laughs> It was a good one, right? It was a good one, yeah. Six bug chain, uh, all logic, and so, you know, worked out of the box, no problem, no memory corruption necessary. So, you know, uh, always pretty much a typical of dual bugs. Typical of dual yeah. bugs, very great. Yeah. Next, we went from that almost directly into the remote unauthenticated code execution on Microsoft SharePoint, CVSS 9.8. That's awesome. Yeah, right? very scary. Something changed on the screen. Nice. There we go. <laughs> Here we go. Very scary bug. We see uh, authenticated SharePoint bugs. Those are not too common, but the unauth, you know, the, the pre off, whew, that's, that makes me worry. Spicy, huh? yes, very good that's bug. That's spicy. And speaking of Microsoft, they also had a couple teams. Uh, those were always fun to see. Uh, and we had Windows and Mac OS and Ubuntu Linux, all three of them privilege escalation bugs. But really the highlight of the show, of course, Tesla. Yes. That's right. So we had two attempts on the Tesla from the Synactive team. The first one on Monday, and let's go through that one. That was a tier three attempt. Correct. And they were targeting the gateway, $100,000 in the Model 3, and and it was successful. I mean, we sat here and, and watched them take over the gateway with one bug, uh, an issue, uh, arbitrary CAN bus messages. It was really exciting to see. Um, it's something they had been talking to us about. And so, you know, when it came to fruition, we actually got to be here at the contest with Tesla and, and review it. It was, a, it was a really fun disclosure. Yeah. It was really awesome because we had the head unit and all the components here in the room because if we were to do it live on the car, it actually could be a little bit dangerous. A little dangerous, yeah. yeah. So safety so first over here. Safety first, that's right. Uh, and then they came back the second day with some even bigger research. Uh, they had registered for another tier three, but the combination of bugs they used by the time we got into the disclosure room, we found out it was really tier two. Talk yeah. about that a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it was, you know, we get into the room and we kind of dissect the, the exploit and see what's going on and we and we try to figure out where the bugs exist and where the, you know, code execution is happening and we discovered that it was actually happening in two different subcomponents. and for us that equals a tier two. So we tried, decided to up level the reward and give an extra hundred thousand dollars for, for that, uh, for that entry. Yeah, so that meant they had a $150,000 entry that ended up earning them $250,000. So that was pretty good. They are, of course, our masters of pwns. You guys come on up and let's go ahead and present you with these things. Congratulations, guys. Congratulations, come on in. There you go, you can roll that one. <laughs> Matt, congratulations. Thanks. Congratulations, and I will hand this. Who wants to take it? It's heavy. There you go. They won $530 thousand dollars over the three-day contest and a Tesla Model 3 uh, which I guess is going to be delivered to you at some point in France I suppose I don't know how we're gonna handle the shipping of that 
but that should be pretty interesting. So congratulations guys, some amazing research you demonstrated uh, and we can't wait to have you back at a future event. Hey, so overall we had 27 unique zero days throughout the contest. We awarded $1,035,000 total. So we hit the million dollar mark. Good stuff. Boy, I hope we have any uh, budget left for Toronto. Do we? Uh, we'll find budget, we'll, we'll find, find budget. Okay, yeah. that's good. No problem. Great, because that's it for Vancouver, but we're not done with Pwn to Own because it goes pretty much year round these days. We will be back in October in Toronto for our consumer focused version of the event. And I'm looking forward. We had a lot of fun in October on uh, Toronto last time. So it's gonna be a great attempt, great event in Toronto this coming year. Can't wait to see it happen. Uh, absolutely, we look forward to seeing everybody there and bringing some more really cool stuff. We're gonna make it really hard this time for people. Uh, and so it should be, a, should be a great show. Hey, and as always, I wanna thank our sponsors, VMware and Tesla. I wanna thank the conference here for hosting us. Of course, we can't do this without our participants, so thanks to them. And for the vendors who were here on site receiving the bugs, thanks so much to them as well. I mean, Apple was here, Oracle was here, VMware was here, Tesla, of course, VMware. Yep. They were great, great to work with them. Uh, but yeah, so just a fantastic event. Can't wait to do the next one after a few days sleep. Yes, after a few days <laughs> absolutely. Sleep. So with that, for Brian and I am Dustin Childs, signing off one last time from Pono in Vancouver. We'll see you soon. Give me my power, give me respect like Gillette.